Hey YouTube world, it's Miss Sue Kizzy coming at you. Just wanted to do a quick follow-up video about the finger comber unit. I have been in love with it since day one and I have discovered some new little tricks um, as far as styling and blending. Um, one of which is just the smaller twist style. Um, as you probably noticed in the first video, it came in chunky twists. Now that's awesome if you love big hair. Um, because when you take those chunky twists out, it will have a lot of volume. Um, so what I ended up doing was I twisted the unit back up into smaller twists and ran it under hot water for maybe about a minute at the most and let it dry, air dry overnight. Um, the following morning, I took them apart and this is the end result. This is actually the second time that I've done the smaller twist, but the thing I really, really love about the unit is it's very conforming. So, um, you know, you could twist it one size and then take them out, twist them another size and do it all over again. And it still looks really, really good. Um, and in the front, as you can see, I've left about an inch of my hair out to blend. So I'll show that to you. This is my hair. Um, I did a two strand twist with this and then I took those out the following morning and um, you know just kind of scratch my scalp to loosen it up so that it covers the weave, the weave cap. Wow, see where my head's at. <laughs> the wig cap. Um, and if you like you can even take a bobby pin and kind of weave it and secure it under some of the finger combing unit hair. Um, also, as far as blending is concerned, I um, discovered a little trick to pulling it back and keeping it out of your face. Cause like I said, it is a lot of hair. Um, what I did, as you can see on this side, is just a big twist and I weaved in my hair from the front. Uh, so I'll show you on this side and hopefully you can see I'm sorry I'm not a pro yet with the lighting, but I'm working on it. I'm gonna get there um, So yeah, so just take as much hair as you like in the front um, Doesn't really have to be sectioned off perfectly because like I said the hair is so thick that You wouldn't be able to see the netting unless you were really trying to search for it um, So yeah, just take a little bit and start twisting back like a flat twist and hopefully you can see that so you do that and then take one twist at a time one section of your two certain twists that you've taken out take one section of that and just pull it across and tuck it under with the rest and keep going so you do that do a little bit more of the finger comber here and then do another one of your twists so you do that all the way down to your desired length, which um, I usually do it right about here, um, right behind my ear. So that way, if you're out and you have headphones or you're on the phone or something like that, it's really easy to just not have to push your hair out the way or, you know, accidentally expose the, the borders of the unit. Um, so yeah, so while I was doing that, I discovered that I actually really like just having one side out as opposed to two. So this has been the style that I've been rocking lately to work and basically everywhere. <laughs> um, and I really, really like it. Um, I'm still very, very impressed and pleased with the unit. Um, it's definitely been a wonderful protective style. I'm definitely going to do a follow-up video to touch base on the hair affinity product as well as the oil and handmade and um i'll do those hopefully soon um but sorry it's been taking me so long to get this up but i figured i'd just stop right here and get this up so that um hopefully for those of you who have ordered it you can um discover some new ways yourself to help this unit work for you um both at work or socially or what have you so um enjoy and have a great day Bye. <laughs>